How's it going everyone? X or Zabiru from the Zabiru Oni YouTube channel and you might be like myself and owns two Steam Decks. I have my LCD model here, uh, 512, 512 GB, and I have my limited edition 1 terabyte on the bottom right here. Uh, it now has my 2 terabyte M.2 SSD. But again, going back to the topic, you might think, what can I do with my, you know, quote unquote old, you know, Steam Deck? Now, most time, most people are just going to try to sell it on eBay or some other, you know, some other marketplace, which is totally fine. You know, get your money back, you know, recoup. But, you know, then again, you know, there's a lot of, lot of, you know, people doing the same thing. So in my case, you know, I was going to do that, but I actually thought, you know, why don't I keep it? Now, some of the things you can do with your old Steam Deck, you know, you could lend it to a friend, lend it to someone's, you know, child or a younger gamer or even your spouse or partner you know maybe this might be the kick that might get them into gaming or maybe they've been interested in gaming or want to play with you but you know they don't want to shell out the money themselves great way to get somebody who may not be you know a hardcore gamer into gaming now you could also use it as a secondary pc you could get the official dock, a third-party dock, and you could definitely dock this up as, you know, a TV or home theater PC for something that's just dedicated for, you know, your basement TV or family room TV. Or you could switch it and put it into desktop mode and you could use it for Linux. You know, as I always say, Linux makes the world go round and, you know, it's used in servers, it's used for Android, PlayStation, many different devices, and... You could use it as a tool to, you know, teach yourself how to use Linux as, again, it has terminal, uh, app store, browser, everything that, you know, Windows or Mac OS would have. You could also experiment and use it to tinker with, you know, the device itself. You know, you could put Windows on there and experiment with, you know... I know they have driver. I know Valve has drivers out for it, so you could see how it runs compared to you know an RG Ally or Lenovo Legion Go, those kind of Windows handhelds. Um, you could dual boot it. Um, you could certainly put a, like I said a larger SSD in these, and you could dual boot it. You could also keep it as a backup, especially if you travel, content creation, or you know. Any, anything that you think you might need a second switch for or, you know, as a just-in-case. Um, you know, many people have different switches. I, myself, have my day one unpatched switch still docked. I have a Steam Deck Lite. Or not Steam Deck Lite, <laughs> Steam, uh, Switch Lite. Getting ahead of myself there. And I was thinking about getting an OLED, but I have my Steam Deck here, which definitely does the job for me. And last but not least, might sound cheesy, but use it as a display piece. I mean, you're looking at history right here. I mean, we've gone from the Steam Deck, or the Steam, I keep saying Steam Deck, the Steam Link. Um, we had the Steam uh, PCs. So these are definitely, you know, pieces of gaming and even PC history because you're literally holding a full-fledged computer in the palm of your hands. So let me know if you like this video. Let me know about any of the topics or anything that you know, I mentioned, again, hopefully maybe this helps you in some sort of way of possibly repurposing, you know, that quote-unquote older, you know, Steam Deck. The LCD model is just as fine as the OLED. I use my Steam Deck as just as much, or if not more, than my gaming PC that you could probably hear in the background here. Hopefully not, but, you know, any model is a great model to, to get into, and like I said, it gets your foot in the door with PC gaming and a console like experience so let me know in the comments down below uh, about any other ways to use your steam deck and i'll catch you in the next one later